To ensure correct use, always read and understand the instructions for use of the powered air purifying system and the utilized components prior to use. In this video, we will show you how to correctly use and decontaminate the 3M VersaFlow powered air purifying respirator. The set contains the following, the air unit, battery, particle filter, standard belt, hose and the hood. Outside the area where a powered hood is needed, check the integrity of the whole unit. Perform a visual inspection and functional test. To insert a filter, first remove the filter cover by pressing the latch and lifting the cover off. Inspect for integrity before inserting the filter. If using the optional pre-filter and spark arrester, place this before main filter. This will prolong the filter life of your main filter. Place the filter in the cover and reinsert in the unit, ensuring the latch is properly engaged. You will hear an audible click to confirm this. The filter label should be visible in the cover window. To check the charging status of the battery, remove it from the device by pressing down the blue locking button. Now press the test button on the battery to check the charging status. If the battery requires charging, the battery indicator will flash. Reinsert the battery ensuring that it engages with an audible click. Check that it's in place by gently pulling on it. Before using the product, check the airflow by using the airflow indicator. Hold in the unit with the airflow indicator pointing upright. Check that the bottom of the floating ball rests on level or above the minimum flow mark. Check that the alarms are working by placing a hand over the outlet of the unit. The alarm should sound and the fan LED should flash. During use, the alarms will indicate if it's clogged and or if the battery charge is low. Insert the hose into the unit and gently pull to ensure that it is fitted firmly. Insert the other end of the hose to the hood and do the same. To wear the device, make sure you are already wearing the proper PPE. The powered hood will be worn on top of your gown. Adjust the belt according to the wearer's fitting. Put it around your waist and connect the buckles. To switch on the unit, press the blue button on the control panel. Do not put on the hood until the unit is switched on. Push the unit to your back with one hand while the other supports your hood. Wear the hood on your head, making adjustments where necessary. The system is now ready for use. After use, make sure you are out of the aerosol generating procedure zone before taking the hood off or turning the unit off. Discard your used gloves appropriately and clean your hands with alcohol hand gel. Use another set of gloves, then turn off the unit by pressing the blue button and ideally you will lay the unit on a table. Take your gloves off, sanitise your hands, then take your gown off. Sanitise your hands and remove your face mask. Sanitise your hands again, then put on another set of fluid resistant surgical mask and gloves before cleaning the unit. Disconnect the hood, hose, belt and unit for proper decontamination. Make sure you have ample Clonel Universal wipes within arm's reach when decontaminating. First, wipe the belt, the hose and the unit, then set it aside. Next, always use one fresh wipe for the inner portion of the hood. Make sure not to use the same wipe for the other parts of the unit to avoid contamination. Lastly, clean the outer part of the hood, making sure all creases are covered. Then gently put it aside to dry, ready for next use. Finally, take your gloves off and clean your hands. If a charger is nearby, 
take the battery off the unit and allow it to charge. It is important that all the parts remain together for ease of use and to avoid items being lost or damaged. Thank you for watching the instruction video for the 3M VersaFlow powered air purifying respirator.